How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'll be doing a part 2 of the keypad tutorial where basically I'll be importing the package into my, my demo scene and I'll be basically setting up the keypad to work in my demo scene. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to get started the first thing you want to do is just go to my simple keypad for door save tutorial and just open up the description and you'll see this download project link. So you click that, it'll open up a, a link where you can just download the project. Perfectly safe, everything's fine with it. Once you've done that, you want to then go and open up Unity. Cool, so once you've opened up Unity, the first thing you want to do is just go to this Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. So I've downloaded the simple keypad to my desktop. So just double click on that and it'll start preparing the package and decompressing it. You then just click Import and they'll import the package to your projects. So this will take some time to do. Cool, so once the keypad tutorial is imported into your project, you can actually double click on um, the keypad tut folder and open up the keypad tut tutorial. And you can actually run this and it should all work, uh, work fine. So if you just click on that, be able to see everything works. So basically what we wanna be doing now is moving everything in here to our brand new scene. So the first thing I wanna do is just add a door to the scene. So I'm just gonna move this game view to the side here. And first thing I wanna do is just add a door to our demo scene. Double click on that to see where it is. And we can just drag it up so it's visible. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. Move that back. Cool, that looks fun. Once we've done that, we can just add our keypad to the scene. Double click on that. Uh, on the Z axis, just make that 270. Push that back. Push it up a bit and then just resize it. And just move that up so it's just covering that keyhole thing there. Uh, just resize it a little bit more, make it a little bit larger. Cool, so once you're done with that, what you want to do is go back to the keypad tutorial, um, open that up, and you just want to copy the canvas. It's just to save a lot of work with um, setting up the demo on the demo server and our demo pro uh, projects. You can see there's a there's a slider and a joystick, so just setting all that up takes some time. So just copying the canvas is just so much simpler. It's also got our actual keypad. Um, that we're going to be clicking and stuff, entering the values in. Okay, so once we've done that, next thing we want to do is add our create a game object. Uh, for, for the tag, we want to just um, say keypad or add a new tag. I've already got keypad as a save tag, so you probably just have to add a new tag and just want to call it uh, keypad game object. Once you've done that, you want to then add a box collider. That's to allow it to be uh, clickable. So let's just make that a bit smaller. We want to make it the same size as the keypad. You don't want to be clicking anywhere else to be activating the keypad kind of thing. Let's move that over just a little bit. Cool, that looks fun. Maybe just make it a little bit smaller. Alrighty. So once we've done that, um, on our main camera, we want to just go to the scripts folder over here and just drag the script, um, this camera script to our main camera. Um, for this, this is used to enable the clicking and this joystick here. So first thing I want to do is just drag this camera here and then on the canvas you want to just drag the fixed joystick. So if we run this, let's move the game over here, you should be able to yeah, look around now. Cool. Uh, once we've done that on our keypad game object you want to just go to this keypad folder in scripts and just drag this keypad in here. So what all these do, the objects to disable um, one and two is these objects here, and the object to enable will be our actual keypad that's 
disabled at the moment. Um, we then want to display text, which is this field here. So just drag that here. And then this audio source, audio data is just that sound you hear when um, you enter in the incorrect password. So let's just drag everything in here quick. So slider there, fixed joystick there, and the actual keypad there. Cool. So once we've done that, the last thing we need to do is actually on the buttons themselves. You can see here there's this runtime only and there's none objects. So we actually need to drag the keypad object into here. Go keypad and then valued enter. So that's going to allow us, when we can actually click the buttons, it's going to pass that variable across to the script. So let's just do that quick. Cool, so once that's done, um, I believe it should all be working now. So if we click run here, we then click this keypad, uh, the keypad comes up, we can then type in values. Um, if we just click on this, you can see the values entering in here. So nine, six, five, incorrect, four, clear. So yeah, and then quit. So yeah, everything seems to be working. Um, if you have any other further questions, guys, please drop a, me a message in the comments and I'll, I'll make sure to get back to you. Um, yeah, if you like this series, please leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. Uh, cheers, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.